And continuing on with the 2023 Amy 1, problem number three, a plane contains 40 lines, no two of which are parallel. Suppose that there are three points where exactly three lines intersect, four points where exactly four lines intersect, five points where exactly five lines intersect, six where six lines, it's a lot of points and intersections and stuff, and no points where more than six lines intersect. Find the number of points where exactly two lines intersect. Now, these words exactly, we need to understand exactly what they mean. So if it says exactly three lines intersect, it means that there's not four lines intersecting at those points. And there's not two lines and there's not, yeah, there's exactly three. One and uh, usually exactly, not exactly one, exactly three is three and only three. There we go. The phrase exactly one means one and only one. And so I was like, wait, but that could be used here. So yeah, three and only three lines. Make sure we understand that. So you kind of, again, don't forget, you've got a lot of time. Just kind of think about it. Think about a way you could approach this. Uh, again, if you do the AOPS books, they oftentimes show you in their gray box questions the process by which you can develop a solution path. And that usually includes make an example. Just try something simpler out than what you're attempting. Maybe not have 40 lines. Let's inspect what happens with just four lines. So if I have three lines, okay, I'm gonna have some triangular set up, right? And I want a fourth line to come through one of these points. Let's say this one right here and goes through there and hits here. So now I have three lines, exactly three, intersecting at this one point. Well, let's say we didn't have that. What should we have had for the total number of points of intersection? We should have had the four lines. Anytime you choose two of those lines, you would get a point of intersection because none of them are parallel. So four choose two is six. Uh, again, that's four times three over two using the shortcut method to get six. So uh, for the six then, okay, how many did we get now though? Well, we got four points of intersection, one, two, three, four. So it looks like right off the bat, we're losing two of our points of intersection. So if we only, we got four for this, right? Okay, four total points of intersection. Uh, by the way, what I'm walking you through is the exact solution process I did on my paper over here. Um, like I've got it, here you go. Uh, that's what I was doing down here. And so I, here's like my pictures and stuff like that. You can see the kind of the work that I was doing. And so uh, I'm just walking you through what I did. There's probably many ways to do this, right? This is just what I came up with. Okay, so uh, you got your four total points here. So what did we do? We lost two points when three lines intersected. So we got four, we lost two. Okay, so maybe then what would happen if we had a fourth line that also passed through this point? So that now we have five total lines. Well, we would expect if there was no weird intersections that five choose two gives us 10. I'm not gonna show you how to calculate that again. Five choose two is 10. We should have gotten 10, but we actually only got five points of intersection. Okay, so what's going on here? We lost five now. Um, Cause see, I would have thought if I was guessing that if we think about this, let's go back and write uh, lines intersect. If we call it three LI for three lines intersect, there's three of those, right? Three of these. Each of those three is going to lose two. So I could say three times two, I'm losing six. All right. Uh, when we have four lines intersect, and again, there's four of those, then I would have thought maybe we lose three points of intersection for each of those four, but it looks here like we're losing five. What could it be? Why would it be five? Ah, uh, maybe we could think of it as two plus three. We lost two. We lost two when we had the three lines intersecting. 
when we had another one crossover, we lost those two plus an additional three. So when I drew this line, we lost the point of intersection with this one, this one, and this one. We lost three more points of intersection than we lost here. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and say that we lost five. So it's going to be four times two plus three. Okay, so four times two plus three. And we kind of have the idea now of what's going on. For five lines of intersection, every time you have that point, or five lines intersecting at a single point, when that happens, you're not just going to lose the four that you just crossed over. You're also losing these two and these three that we had from the previous ones. So you're going to lose two plus three plus four. So we can say then that we have five times two plus three plus four. Okay, now what about six lines of intersection at one point? For that one, you're gonna lose six times two plus three plus four plus five. Okay, so uh, first, let's figure out how many points of intersection we would, we would have. We're losing all of these that we would have had had we not had this weirdness happening. Let's go ahead and calculate with the 40 lines now. We're gonna go ahead and do 40 choose two. This is what we would have had. What are we using right now? We're using complementary counting, right? We count this and then subtract what we don't want. And everything that remains must be what we do want, right? That's the idea. So uh, 40 choose two is gonna be 40 times 39 over two. And two goes into 40 20 times. 2 times 39, 78, add a 0, you're going to get 780. So 780, uh, by the way, just real quick, if you didn't know that n choose 2 was n times n minus 1 over 2, go prove it to yourself. Uh, you should prove it before you start using it. So uh, let's, let's keep going here. Okay, so we lose these 6. Let's go ahead and kind of subtract. Where am I going to carry this out? Let's erase this, just so I have some space right here to calculate without having to lean over too far. Okay, um, you're gonna have 780 minus those six, minus four times five is 20, minus five times nine is 45, minus uh, six times two groups of seven is 14, six times 14 is 84. Let's combine these nicely. These make 90, that makes 20 is 110. That makes 155. So if I take off 100 from 780, I'll be at 680. If I take off 50, I'll be at 630, and then I'm at 625. So right now we're at 625. Is that the answer? We think we took out what we wanted. You better be careful. You've got a lot of time, right? So we should go back and make sure we're doing exactly what we want. Okay, so what is this number? This number is the actual total points of intersection at all. But that's not what they asked for. They asked for find the number of points where exactly two lines intersect. They don't want to just get rid of the lost points of intersection that we would have had otherwise. They don't want any of these either to be included. So these three points of intersection, again, let's go back and look at that really quick so you get what I'm, I'm talking about. When you had this line cross over, we said that there's four points of intersection, but this one's a no-no. We don't want that one either. So in our count, when we subtracted, we said we lost two, right? And we lost two times three is six, but we actually need to come back and get rid of all of these points as well. And of course, three plus six is nine, four plus five is nine, two nines is 18. You're gonna to have to subtract 18 to get our actual correct final answer, 607. Um, always second guess yourself. Always ask, you know, am I really counting what they wanted? Am I sure? You got a lot of time, right? Make sure that you're, you're, you're second guessing yourself on the Amy quite a bit that you don't get trapped with a false answer or false sense of security because you felt pretty good about your process, but you didn't really go back and now kind of attack your own thinking and say, wait a minute, we found something. Wait, what did we find? Let's go revisit that and actually think about what it was 
And if you do, you'll catch this, at least with the method I did. Now there's probably other methods as well that don't use the same calculation style and they might not have had to worry about that, but they probably had their own things to check. Let's go ahead and move on and we'll start problem four.